table. Look, how are you, Karen? Finally. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's good to see you finally. I've heard. Yes, it. I know. It's been many years. Labelle, uh, the question is: What do you perceive within your teachings for for this coming year for for uh, for people? Do you do you see it as a time of more enlightenment, awakening? Well, you know, uh, Karen, I've been telling people for many, many years, it's time to wake up, yes? Yeah. Lately, I've been telling them, you know, it, it is really time to wake up. Now it's for real. <laughs> you know, we don't have any more time. I mean, this is it. This is it. This is what we came for. Yes. yes? I, so, I... you agree? Not only agree, but I think that people like yourselves, you know, people that m move people, all of us, we have to somehow get together and say, hey, there's no more, you know, like, this is it, yes. like you say, this is it. Yes, yes, it's, you know, it's like the story of the, you know, the shepherd, yes, so then nobody believed him because he kept saying, you know, <laughs> the yes. wall. Exactly. But, but, but now it's like I said, I know I've been telling you, but this is it, really. And what I tell people is that if they don't wake up, Karen, life will get very hard for them. Yes, yes. because it's like going against, against the flow. And the flow now is very strong. It's really taking us places. So we, we definitely have to go with the flow. Otherwise, it will be very hard. It will get very hard. Yeah, and uh, you know, I at least we believe that the more of people like ourselves, like-minded people, the more we can talk together, the more we can join each other's. You know, because basically, spirituality, the 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 the, uh, the promise of spirituality is all the same, and we all believe in the same divine light. The only question is exactly. how. And it really doesn't yes. matter. <laughs> and, and it's about coming together, yes, and working together. You know, I always say religion separates us, divides us, and makes us different. A spirituality makes us one, one. yeah? One I'm spirit, right. you know, and one father. Exactly right, Mabel. And oh, by the way, it's exactly what I say, exactly what I mean. The, 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 the teachings, whatever they may be, that make somebody more aware of, of how we should be and react is, is wonderful. Irregardless of where it comes from, it's, still, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spark of the truth of the divine light, whoever yeah. it is. I think it, they are very exciting times, Karen. I think they are very exciting, but some people are in this roller coaster because again they are trying to to keep doing their way yes or the old way and mm -hmm. and i tell people don't you realize it's not working <laughs> don't you realize it is you know what you used to do before it doesn't work anymore and it's not going to work so don't keep waiting you know right so we had many tsunamis. I think the first tsunami was the economic one, one yes? yes. The, the economy, and that shook a lot of people. That woke up a lot of people. And I, I'm telling people there are many tsunamis coming, but you can be at the right place at the right time with the right people, nothing to worry about. Right. Well, in, within the Kabbalah, we talk about the, the world of Oi, which is, God forbid, you know, the people that are they're sleeping and yes. don't want to wake up. And then there's, then there's what we call the world of Ashwin, which is the world in which, you know, we can see things and we, we're prepared for change and we're open to, to do what is necessary to, to go into this time. You know? Exactly. On the, on the other hand, very important to respect people's choices, yes? So if people don't want to wake up, if... We have to respect it. We have free choice. Yeah. Yes. Very beautiful. Is there some? Can you give us a um, like some kind of a, a message or a, a small teaching from what you give to others? Sure. Well, you uh, basically, Karen, in Ho'oponopono, we say everything is a blessing. 
It's a blessing in disguise. Yes. So the best that you can do for a problem is to say thank you. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, so yeah. Thank you. To, thank you to God because it's something that maybe you ask. Yes, because you came to make amends, mm -hmm. to repair. So it is an opportunity to for you to make amends. You don't remember consciously. You cannot recognize as you you know you are always fighting with with everything. You feel a victim, mm -hmm. but but really uh, it's it's an opportunity for you to set yourself free, to to grow. So we talk about thank you. We talk about I love you in Ho'oponopono. It's about showing the other cheek. Yeah, not that you have to allow others to abuse you. It is about not resisting because what we resist persists and because it is uh, very, very important to, to be able to observe, to be present, to observe without engaging because otherwise we miss the opportunity. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. we, we say so Sorry. I, I, I wanted to share with you, because I don't know how much you know, but you know I used to be an accountant. But one day I woke up, one day I woke up, thank God, and, uh, and I did all this for myself, Karen. I never thought of teaching anything. I was an accountant. <laughs> I'm so grateful, yes, that I woke up, that I started my search. And I always said in my mind, I said, there has to be an easier way, you know, a simpler way. Because I, what I notice is people go into the drama a lot, the stories, you know, people like to tell you stories <laughs> or, or likes to blame. There is always, you know, I used to go to seminars in my beginnings that everything was about blaming somebody for what you are like this because somebody did it to you. <laughs> right. right. Right, right. Yes. So I thought. So I thought there has to be an easier and faster way. I don't think you have to really relieve or to really know consciously. You know. So what I like about Ho'oponopono is we talk about hundred percent responsibility, and I think that's basic, especially for these times, especially if you really want to change your life. So I always tell people, do not confuse it with guilt. I'm not telling you are guilty, but mm -hmm. responsibly because you, the things that are coming to you, you are creating, you are attracting them, but the good news is that you can change them and that they are this for you to set yourself free. Yes. That we, by the way, we say there are no victims. There are only volunteers. You know? Exactly. And that where we are, that's where we need to be for our own personal growth at this moment, regardless of the situation. Yes, yes. So if, knowing that, yes, I, I think our job is to to really stay present, yeah, uh, so that we don't miss opportunity, that I can, that we can also see, you know, do, the doors opening, because that's what really happens when you let go. You know, we in Ho'oponopono is about letting go and letting God, knowing that only God knows, and you give permission to God to guide you, and definitely for God to do the transmutation, yes? I mean, the, the corrections. Right. And to use you as the vehicle, right? To, to, that, that you will be exactly. true, right? Yeah. So, so remembering, remembering we are not this body. That right. we are so powerful, you know, beyond what we can imagine. It's time to wake up. It's time to remember. No, I agree, hundred percent. And I was just wondering, uh, in, in in within the teachings, do you have a place whereby, like you yourself, can be by accepting and by what we call transforming or becoming a better human being, you can bring that energy or that light towards you, so that you can benefit other people. Exactly. So in Ho'oponopono, what we say is that whatever gets erased from you, it gets erased from everybody, uh, ah. especially especially your family, relatives, and ancestors. So I, I tell, so we do the correction for the, for, uh, the land, you know, back and, and, uh, and the one in front of us. So for example, we correct, so then our grandchildren or our children don't have to go through that, yeah, because we erase it. 
Wonderful. So we say we say that ninety percent of the, our problems come from our ancestors, uh, and and here and here we are trying to analyze, you know, trying to understand. Mm, mm, mm. So they, there is nothing that the intellect can understand. There is no way that the intellect can understand this. Yes, because it comes from divine. It comes from the divine, and exactly. but and we are and we are divine. Yes. Yes. So it's, it comes from our, we planned it before we came, but we don't remember. Right. So you do believe in reincarnation. You do believe in totally. reincarnation. Totally. Totally. Yes. So it looks like very much that our, our teachings are, well, it has to be aligned. Because truth is truth. Yeah. You know? Well, when you know, when I presented in Israel, uh, somebody in one of the breaks says, have you heard of Karen Bird? He <laughs> says, you know that you he says, you know that you guys talk about the same thing, you have to meet her, you have to meet her. Oh, and I, I, I went to listen to you when you presented your book, To Be Continued, oh, oh, that, yeah. by the, that by the way, I enjoyed the presentation, I enjoyed the book very much. Thank sometimes you. I give, sometimes I give the, some of the examples that you give in, the, in, the, in that book to people about reincarnation. Wonderful, and I, I'm, I'm starting to read your uh, zero frequency, which is also, I mean, amazing concepts. Uh, I think we, I really do, I believe this is the same language, and uh, yes. maybe our delivery is, is different, but we're, all, we're both one soul. And my, you, know what I, you know what I tell the people, uh, Karen? We are all talking about the same thing, so I think that's good news. Yes. Because that means truth is only one. <laughs> right. Yes. Exactly. You know? And that, that's, so the new, that's the new era. That's the place that we need to go. Where truth is yeah. one. We've got to take your path. Everybody thinks, yeah. you know, their own way. But, but we, all of us together, can, can find a way to draw that energy to ourselves and to the peoples that are around us. Yes. I, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that because I don't believe in competition or there is not enough, you know. So I feel that uh, everybody has their own gifts, you know, the, their own way of saying it or sharing it. And people will be, you know, more bonded with some people or some teachers or things. But the idea is that we have the common goal is to wake up people. It's time to wake up. Yes, indeed. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, the, the, the time is, is of an essence, the cosmic laws are cosmic laws. We either, yes. either we do it or, uh, or, uh, or we do it. <laughs> That's all there is. Yeah. yeah, no, no, yeah, we do it. We will do it. <laughs> we will do it. <laughs> Again, you know, I think that a lot of people are going to go different different ways, you know, playing. I mean, there are th happening things that ne I don't remember happening before. So many tsunamis, so many uh, turmoils, you know, so many, uh, so much terrorism, so much uh, um, you, uh, the planes falling. <laughs> I don't know if I said that, but I mean, so many things are happening. So, I mm. mean, I, I say that the tragedy is not the, what really happened. The tragedy is that we are still asleep. Yeah, that we don't recognize what it's about. That, that, uh, that, that. Yeah, that because some of these people that go are volunteers, you know? So, and, and we still don't wake up. Well, we, hopefully. We still see it out there, you know, like something out there or, or that, what can I do? If everybody is dishonest, why would I be honest? Of course. If everybody, <laughs> you, you understand the, the concept? But I always tell people, listen, you just worry about yourself because everything comes back. Everything. Right. <laughs> so don't, don't, don't worry about the people that do things or, or something. I said, you worry only about yourself. Besides, if they don't, don't yeah, have to have something from it, right? Yeah, yeah. God is watching, you know. <laughs> Thank you. You don't, get away. you don't get away with anything. <laughs> You think I, you do. I 100% agree. And uh, I'd like to thank you so much. I, it's my per personal pleasure to finally see you, Mabel, and 
and talk yeah, to you. Yeah, me too, Karen. So wonderful. Thanks, Mabel, Mabel for, for... Thank you, Karen. It yes. was wonderful. Thank you for, the, for giving me this opportunity. I love it. Thank you. Have a great evening.